My name is Brandis Nelson and I'm the curator of the map collection here at the Texas General Land Office. We have over 45,000 maps in our collection and some of the most important ones are county maps. Now we just had UT versus OU and UT won, so hook and horns, um, but I'm going to talk about one of the times that Texas actually lost to Oklahoma. So I have here a county map of Greer County. Um, it was established in 1860, but this land technically didn't belong to Texas. So it's located in between the southern and northern forks of the Red River, so it's all the way up north. Um, the adams onise Treaty of 1819 designated the northern border of Texas as the southern fork, so this line right here. Um, at some point in between 1819 and 1860, uh, um, Texas decided that they wanted that extra 1.5 million acres in between the two forks of the river, and Greer County was created. Um, so after the Civil War, um, Texas is getting back down to the business of the state. Um, they've incorporated this county, they've started establishing post offices and schools and just general places for people to live and work. They've already started laying out town plats here. Um, the U.S. noticed this extra 1.5 million acres and realized that belongs to us. So they took Texas to court. Um, the Supreme Court was the only court in the nation that could handle a case like this. It was basically two sovereign powers competing for land. Um, and the U.S. actually used some of the GLO's own maps against us. Charles Pressler was our chief draftsperson at the time, and he had drawn maps between 1860 and the 1880s when this case was being argued that did not include Greer County. So we hadn't proved that the land belonged to us. Um, eventually, the case was settled um, in the U.S.'s favor. So Greer County was dissolved in around 1896 and added to Oklahoma Territory. Um, Oklahoma Territory and Indian Territory right next door to each other eventually merged and became Oklahoma in 18, I'm sorry, 1907. So one of the very few things that we've lost to them, um, but one of the more interesting stories that exists in the map collection of the General Land Office. If you'd like to learn more about our map collection, please visit savetexashistory.org.